Happy new release night, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last break of the night. And it's going to be the new release 2019 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com from a fresh case. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. Break number three on the 10th. Wednesday, Brian O, Last Bot Mojo, New York Mets. Thanks everybody else for getting in as well. Now we've got to figure out which uh, inner case we're going to do. It's a fresh case. All right, so there's the left side right here and the right side right here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. We're going to use this guy right here. All right. And it's going to be three. So we'll do the left side right here. And this one right here, I've marked four. We can probably do this tomorrow. All right, thank you for the fill, everybody. Let's do this. Four, eight, and twelve right there. Good luck, everyone. That's a cop out. The Land Rover Above and Beyond players of the game is the entire Angels team, says the Angels broadcast. After winning six straight, after starting the season one and six. The entire team? It's got to pick someone. All right, hey, Andy wants to see a Nolan Ryan autograph for the Rangers, whoever has the Rangers. It's TJ. TJ has the Rangers. Andy. TJ, Andy Garner, rooting for you. Good luck. We're going to lead off with Mel Ott, old New York Giant. It's Jose Ramirez. We'll make sure those artist proofs send, send out too. Kirby Puckett, nice. And is Glaber Torres is our first hit. Jersey King. Glaber Torres. That's for the Bronx Bombers. Jeremy Merle with the Yankees.
There's Chris Davis. <laughs> maybe uh maybe Chris Davis should trade uh trade names with Orioles Chris Davis. Orioles Chris Davis is the one that needs the K. I'll work on that joke. We'll work on that one. We'll workshop that one. There's a good joke in there somewhere. We'll figure it out. Where's the autograph? It's got to be in here somewhere. There it is. It's Steven Gonzalez. 90 out of 99 for the Twins. That'll be for Peter Ang and the Twinkies. Alright, next box. to listen to Angels Live. I don't know if I need to watch the Angels post game show. What else is on? What do we got here? Mm. So we'll go go quick pitch on MLB Network. We'll go with that. Box two, good luck. There's Mike Trout. It's Caleb Ferguson. And Atlanta's Kyle Wright at 99. Nice dual relic for Patrick Kay and the Bravos. One of the young up and comers. Grayson Allen dropped 40 tonight. Dust off your Grayson Allen. Dust off your Grayson Allen rookie autos. Is Grayson Allen going to be a player? Fernando Tatis Jr.? Nice. Dual relic and autograph for the Friars. Corey Kay with the Padres. Nice. Thank you. 
It's your NL Rookie of the Year, right? It's got to be. Tigers have a 2-5 ER, team ERA. I do have a, the Tigers closer Shane Green on my team. He already has like seven saves. Hmm, interesting. Nobody, nobody is in that stadium. I guess it was early game on a Wednesday. He has eight saves now. No one's at the Tigers stadium. Are the Indians not a draw? <laughs> Maybe not. Is it cold out there? And we've got Jersey and Auto, Carlos Correa. Nice one for the Astros. That goes to Thomas Bove. Nice Correa. Yelich. The Tigers win it four to one as Boyd gets the better of Bauer for his first win of the season. How about this one? Shane Green. He's now the first pitcher ever with eight saves to his team's first ball game. Yeah, there it is, Chad. There's George Brett. Dual relic for the Royals. The X-Line with the Royals. No one's in this White Sox game either, the Rays White Sox game. All right, next one. Also, take a glance at how my fantasy team is doing today. Lost three and a half points today. Austin Barnes, 0 for 2. Jake Bowers, 0 for 3 with a walk. Kettle Marte, 1 for 4. Machado, 1 for 4, but with a home run. Right, that's good. Jonathan Scope, 3 for 4. There you go, double RBI. Harrison Bader went 0 for. Shinsu Chu went 0 for 1. Schwarber, 0 for 4. DJ LeMayhew, 3 for 3. There you go, that's what I need from DJ LeMayhew. A little average. Eddie Rosario went 0 for 4. But there's Shane Green, yeah. 11 pitches. Strikeout, save. Done. Easy.
All righty, next box. And we've got Robin Yount coming up. Four out of 25 for the Brew Crew. Thomas Bove with the Brewers. Nice Robin Yount. He's got a great autograph. There's Dennis Santana. An appearance today in the Cardinals game. And Newman, Kevin Newman. 60 out of 99. Three color dual relic for the Pirates. Michael Gallucci with his Pirates. All right, next box. Sometimes I feel left out. Well, you just keep telling me. Let's see. Let's see what we got baseball scoreboard wise. So my Dodgers fell to the Cardinals seven to two. Cardinals won seven two. Shane Green with that save. Tigers four one. Goodrum and Hicks homering off Bauer. Rays took care of the White Sox nine to one. Tommy Pham homering twice. Padres three to one. Machado hitting the go ahead home run third of the season. Reds edged out the Marlins 2-1. to one. A couple late homers, I think, helping them out. Jose Iglesias let up the eighth inning with a game-tying home run. Only, only six hits between both teams. Three for the Reds, three for the Marlins. There you go. Chris Davis hits two home runs for the A's. That's A's Chris Davis, two home runs, and Chris Davis with a C. I think still hitless? Did he play today? Yeah, he, he, he had a he pinched hit, 0 for 1. Poor Chris with a C. Did we figure out how much he's getting paid this season? Oh, Diamond Deco, Reese Hoskins, nice. Too much. He's getting paid 17 million bucks a year. Yeah, Brian O's got it. He's 17 million bucks a year. Signed a seven-year, $161 million contract back in 2016. There's Walker Bueller. Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks edition. Bob Gibson. Take first base. Have to check on Travis Shaw. 
and Steven Duger. Yeah, did you get that off the top of your head, Brian? What if that was like your Rain Man thing, Brian? Like you, you could like you can rattle off the the years in terms of professional athlete contracts. I could just be like Wade Boggs, you know, 1984. What do you make? He's like, uh, he signed a three-year, you know, five million dollar contract, or something like that. I'd be like, ah, oh, got it. So these heirs to the throne, most of them are this are the same. Most of them are the same player or the same team. Some of them are different. So these heirs to the throne cards will be um, a front back randomizer. All right, next one. Good luck. Nationals put the hurt on the Phillies, 15 to 1. The Phillies only managed three, uh, three hits. Oh, yeah, that's for you, Robert. Sorry, Silver Stacker. Yeah, Steven Duger, Oppo Joe Mojo for you, Giants. And like your second or third one of the day, right? Hellickson, Adams, Rendon helped the Nationals route the Phillies 15 to 1. Alex is throwing three hit ball over six innings. Matt Adams drove in four runs. Twins were leading early, and then they then they give up a ton of runs to the Mets. Mets win nine to six. Twins try to come back too. Apparently, Jake Odorizzi and the uh, Minnesota bullpen suddenly went wild, allowing seven straight batters to reach. Man. Altuve homers twice as the Astros keep the Yankees. For the first time, Astros. For the first time, really? Ever? In history? That's what ESPN saying. Astros, eight. Yankees, six. Just looked up. Wade Boggs made $525,000 in 1984. That's league minimum now, isn't it? Less than league minimum. Adjust for inflation. Like, what is that? What is that in 2019 money? Might be 2.3 million, like you said earlier, which is still low. And we've got 35 out of 49 for the Blue Jays. Jonathan Davis. That goes to Tyler Rose and the Bluebirds. Blue Jays did not play today. I don't think they did. I haven't gotten to that score yet. Mookie Betts. And Christian Yelich is your Jersey Kings relic. Wow, Brian O says says Wade Boggs in 1984 who made $525,000 in 1984 equates to about 1.26 million dollars today. <laughs> Who says, who says baseball is dying? Seems to be doing just fine if, they, if teams can pay players crazy amounts of money.
All right, next box. I'm chugging along nicely here, folks. Blake Swihart probably makes more than $1.26 million a day, a, a year. All right, Pirates beat the Cubs 5-2. to two. Jordan Lyles struck out 10 over six innings. Cervelli and Marte Homer. Are the Pirates going to be sneaky good this season? And the Cubs going to be sneaky bad this season? Mariners edge out the Royals 6-5. to five. Mitch Hanniger with a home run. The Mariners have like the most home runs in baseball next to like the Dodgers, I think. And Whit Merrifield sets the Kansas City hit streak mark. And I think we were discussing this earlier. I think uh, to me, I don't think I don't think the I don't think it, it, the record should wrap around seasons if he reaches, like, Joe DiMaggio level. You know what I mean? And Andy's saying that $525,000, though, that bought Boggs a lot of beer in 1984, especially beer at 1984 prices. How much was a 30-pack back then? We'll run that through the inflation numbers. <laughs> and there's Adrian Beltre. Dual relic for the Rangers. That goes to TJ. And there's, ah, this is what uh, Chad was looking for, Kristen Stewart. There you go, Chad. One of their big prospects, one of their big young up-and-coming players. He has a grand slam this season already. Is that right? They didn't make 30 packs 1984, all returnable bottles and cases of cans. Hmm. But a six pack from Miller Lite was $4.22. That is my domestic beer of choice. A refreshing Miller Lite. Maybe no Keystone Light back then. Maybe at a local brewery back then. What's a sixer of Miller Light now? Like eight bucks or something like that? Um, Rangers beat the Diamondbacks 5-2. Angels managing the sweep of the Brewers. They win 4-2. And the Braves and Rockies game postponed due to a uh, 
a blizzard. What a blizzard happening? Oh, I guess in mean, California it's eight bucks. Yeah, it's probably eight bucks. twelve pack of tall boy thirteen forty nine. That's pretty good. You should, uh, huh? Andy, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna run beer from uh. You want to run beer from from Texas to to California? Could be fun. Maybe get chased by a cop. And there's Miles Straw, 39, 49 out of 99 for the Astros. Thomas Bove with the Strohs. If I have a milkshake and you have a milkshake, and I have a straw that reaches across the room, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Right, there you go, Andy. Maybe, maybe drive a 78 Trans Am. It'll be fun. And there's Bat Kings, Chris Bryant. Cubbies, that goes to Brian O. Brian O on the board. Jose Ramirez, focus, there we go. Artist proof Aaron Nola, that'll ship. That's not those aren't numbered, but they will ship. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost there. We got four boxes left. All right, next box. So what? What do the standings look like now in baseball? All right, so. Time to overreact a little bit, folks. In the AL East, Tampa Bay Rays, they're 10 and 3. They are four and a half games ahead of the Yankees and the Orioles, five and a half ahead of the Blue Jays, and six and a half ahead of the Red Sox. Do the Tampa Bay Rays win the division? I say that I should have bet on the Tampa Bay Rays to win the division at plus like 500 or whatever it was. They could. Manufacture runs. They got solid pitching. Brian O saying, want to hear something funny? Back in the beard, in the old beer days, the stores would buy case, cases of 30 packs because it was cheaper and then make Miller send in grunts with six pack rings to make Sixers? Wait, Silver Stack, did you, did you do that back in the day? Were you one of those guys?
It was worth it to do that. I mean, I guess the price difference was that enough where where they could hire people to do that. There's Chance Adams. Two color dual relic, an autograph for Jeremy Merle and the Yankees. There's Michael Jordan trading cards inside special packs of Hanes and autographs too. Do we all know about this? Should we go to like Target and just buy out a bunch of None on eBay yet, says Andy. So, it's, so you're telling me there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance, Adams. Oh, they just had someone at Miller go and and ring them up, but man, still. There's only ten of those Michael Jordan autographs out there. There's Craig Kimbrell, unsigned. Still, where does he go? I'll bet he also goes back to the Red Sox on like a prorated deal. Just like I was saying earlier, the Dallas Keuchel will probably end up going right back to the Astros for like a, a single season prorated deal. Next box. Oh, I see. Silver Sacker saying uh, almost like that is. Sorry, I was paying attention to the chat. Uh, your mom worked at a convenience store. Oh, then you helped stock the cool. You broke down 12s into 6s. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. But I want to find those Michael Jordan autographs in, in packs of Hanes, like what, briefs, t-shirts? Start my collection today. Martin, how do you buy cards with money? If you want to join these group breaks, you don't buy individual cards here, but you can join a group break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So for this break, someone could buy a single team and any cards of that particular team that come out, except for veteran commons, will go to you. There could be nothing. There could be everything. So the person that bought the, uh, for the person that bought the Red Sox, they'll get that Craig Kimbrell dual relic. If you're looking for individual cards, eBay probably your best bet. All right, next one. There's Loisiga. We actually got sent down for a little bit. And a redemption. I haven't seen any redemptions. Anyone know who the redemptions are? Labor Day. Feel free to guess for bragging rights. There's Brad Keller to 99. 
Rhino saying hopefully a Ryan Sandberg. A Rhino would be pretty cool. Whoa, a Mike Trout downtown card. Oh, the last downtown card was an angel as well as Shohei Otani. That is strong. That goes to Michael A. and the Angels, the big A. That's the Santa Monica Pier. The, the Angels played nowhere near Santa Monica. That is fake news right there. I know it's the Los Angeles Angels, but they're of Anaheim. Anyhow, still nice, though. It's still nice, even though the picture is false. All right, the redemption is bam george brett wow retro 1983 dk material signatures hollow blue george brett for the royals that's the x line nice christian stewart oh you dozed off no, we got you a christian stewart it's, it's in the bag done you're good. We got you. It wasn't numbered. And it was one of the... There was no relic. It was just like one of the uh, the regular ones. All right. Two boxes to go. We're almost there, folks. Almost there, our last break of the night. Everything else will go off tomorrow. What day is tomorrow? Thursday? That's good. We had a good new release night. We're pretty busy, start to finish. Speaking of the Tigers, Tigers are 8-4. and four. They're leading the AL Central. I'm not sure that's going to keep up, but that's a great start for them. I, thought the I took the over on the Royals' wins. They're 2-9. and nine. I still believe in it, but I thought they'd have a better start. Mariners are 12-2. and two. Everyone left the Mariners for dead, right? Like they traded, uh, traded away a ton of guys, a bunch of guys. There's that autograph. Everyone's like, that's it. Mariners are going to suck. Well, they've been playing great. There's Luis Urias. Two-color, dual relic, and autograph for the Padres. Nice one for Corey K. Yeah, Chad, really. I'll show you. I'll show you the, uh, if you want, if you can stay up for another 10 minutes, I can show you the, uh, the autograph really quick. We are almost at the end. I want to finish this break really quick, and I'll show you. On the home stretch. And a Juan Soto. To 49. Nice dual relic there. Chad says what? For the Tigers, just keep it interesting? <laughs> hey, there's, some, there's some young players on that team. They've got a decent farm system, right? So there, there's, some, there's some young players that you can kind of get excited about. 
you know, that are starting to come up already. So it's not like you have to wait for like two or three years for like some top draft pick to come through. You're starting to see some some of the names, all, like Kristen Stewart, you're starting to see some names come up already. And Casey Mize was out of college, right? So Mize will be up in a year or two before you know it. Yep, Bowman comes out next Wednesday? Wednesday? I think Nick Jaspi is actually posting pre-orders tomorrow. We're getting an early start on that. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Thank you very much. I don't know if the Mariners can keep it. Let's see if the Mariners can keep it up. Um, alt, pretty tight in the AL East already. I think it's going to be like this most of the season. Phillies are 7-4. and four. Braves, 7-4. and four. Mets, 7-4. and four. Nationals, 6-5. and five. They're only a game back of the Phillies, Braves, and Mets. I think they're just going to... I think those, those three, those four teams are going to beat up on each other all season long. And I think that's going to happen in the Central, too. Milwaukee Brewers... Eight and five. Pirates six and four. Cardinals seven and five. Reds are three and eight, and Cubs are three and eight. So they're struggling, but they're they're good teams there too. That's gonna be a tough division as well. Like eighty five games might win that division. You know what I mean? Everyone will be beating up on each other. Uh, Dodgers and Padres tied at eight and five in the NL West. That's crazy. I guess the Padres thought Padres thought they were closer than they thought when they you know they were they thought their team was ready so they went out and got big names like Manny Machado and well it's paying off for them. They're 16 out of 25, Ryan O'Hearn for Kansas City. It's another one for the X line. I guess the camera's tired too. And there's Starling Marte, Jersey Kings, 24 out of 25. Nice one for the Buckos. Goes to Michael Gluge and his Pirates. Chad saying that, oh, you're waiting for Daz Cameron. Should be up once they trade Castellanos. And the last little bit here, Roberto Clemente frame, Brooks Robinson, and that is that. We made it, folks. All right. Good way to end the night. We have more Diamond Kings for you tomorrow. Let's do the front back randomizers on that. Otherwise, we're done, folks. If you see your team, go get your team on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll get those knocked out. We'll get some more Diamond Kings knocked out tomorrow. A lot of great value in this, too. Not super expensive. And um, 12 boxes a lot. Case hits to chase. A lot of nice hits. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's roll the dice. Four, three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Front cards, we'll get them. So that's the front side. The Panini logo is the back side. So the front side teams will get those few cards right there. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you tomorrow.